What's up guys? So today we are getting started on the CRV project. We're going to be um, you know slowly pulling everything out of the CRV so that we can get the new transmission put in. Um, so it's going to be quite entertaining to see how this goes. Hopefully we can at least get it out and uh, it'd be nice to get the other one back in today but I doubt it. We're already started like three in the afternoon so um, we've only got about four hours we can really work left. Um, so yeah, this should be interesting and pretty entertaining. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'm taking this on my phone. GoPro's uh, dead right now, so I ain't even going to deal with it. Um, so hopefully it turns out pretty good in the end, even with it being on the phone. But enjoy. Okay, so we got the battery unhooked. Um, we got the air box out of the way. We still got to unbolt this top of the uh, intake off of there. <clears throat> got the uh, lugs loose. Getting the wheels taken off right now. Jacking it up off the ground. We basically got to work on getting the uh, CV axles and stuff and everything out before we actually start working inside the engine bay to get the transmission out. So this will be pretty fun. Okay, so we got the CV axle loose, got the axle nut busted off, and we are getting the lower ball joint loosened up, so we can basically take the CV axle out of this side. Still got to do the other side. So we uh, have to loosen the bottom uh, strut mount down here where it connects to the control arm in order for it to uh, the actual to see the actual to slide out and the control arm to come loose from the uh, spindle itself so nothing's been changed on this before so it's Everything's pretty tight and rusted and wore out and everything. So we were trying to get the bottom ball joint uh, nut off and could not break the bottom of the control arm and the ball joint separate it. So we just decided to put the nut back on, break the top upper control arm off, the, the nut off and then tap the top of the control arm uh, or the uh, top of the spindle to where it dropped it down so that was a lot easier than having to deal with that and this bolt is also out the uh, bottom of the strut still Okay, so basically we ended up getting the CV axle out and everything. Had to uh, basically clamp the caliper so that we could get the other side axle nut off. All that's off. CV axle is ready to come out. So we're ready to go on this side. I pulled the radiator so I could get a little bit more room to work with because there's not really that much room. Um, so I got that out of the way, unplugged all the sensors, um, all the connectors and everything down there, the hoses to the transmission. Um, basically everything's pretty much ready. Only thing we got to do is uh, unbolt this bottom plate down here underneath the uh, CRV right here and loosen up the transmission mounts I still got to undo the starter um, and we got to do the transmission bolts we should be able to get it out after that hopefully 
Um, we still got to take the drive shaft out, so we are going to probably be working on that right now, actually, because that's going to be probably the toughest part. So I'll try to get some footage as we do that. So we ended up getting the starter off, all the sensors, solenoids, all that stuff pulled off, harness out of the way, other CV axles out. Um, we are stop stopping now because uh, we can't take the drive shaft out. And that's basically the only thing left that we have to do besides loosen the motor mounts and, uh, you know, slide the transmission off. So, we'll probably be continuing that tomorrow, so just stay tuned for more of that progress. Um, probably going to do a couple other additional um, upgrades and stuff to this while everything is out, and I will be replacing all fluids and everything, so that'll be nice to have. But, yep, we're taking a break for now and uh, calling it a day so everything's pretty much done we just got to get this thing off and slap the new one on all right what's up guys so we're on day two of the CRV project and we have got some progress made today um, we are working on getting the mounts out of there and the flywheel bolts as well we got the drive shaft taken out so you have to take the whole thing out otherwise this will not disconnect and you won't be able to pull the trans so We're basically working on getting everything dismounted from back here because um, that's the toughest area from getting everything dismounted. And then obviously we will be working on the mounts up here and getting this thing leveled up a little bit more and hopefully get this trans off soon. We got everything pretty much ready to come out. Um, all the mounts are loose. We've got the flywheel bolts, everything taken out. You can see them right there. Those little 10 mil. Right there. So basically, we're about to drop the transmission down on this side, loosen that mount up, and hopefully, everything will just pop right out. No problem. So let's see how it goes. Yes, it is out. What's up, guys? It's another day out here on the CRV project. Um, we couldn't make any more progress last night because we uh, didn't have another torque converter to replace it with. And we figured that we should replace the torque converter with a brand new one or a remand one. That way, uh, we wouldn't have to worry about pulling anything again if something was to go wrong. So we ended up waiting until today. We went and got the new torque converter, which is right here. It's the old transmission. Old shitty trans. There's the new new one. It's supposed to have 150 50k or so on it. So we'll see how that goes. Meanwhile, we're just uh, trying to get the, the block clean and everything with the uh, brake cleaner. So that's what we're working on right now. Just trying to get, trying to make it look a lot nicer and uh, clean stuff up a little bit. So we'll see how much progress we can get today. Uh, I had to order Honda Genuine uh, automatic transmission fluid for this vehicle specifically uh, they don't recommend that you put anything else in so that'll be here Friday so we're gonna try to get the torque converter on the uh, other transmission back on sensors wired up this and that CV axles back in yada yada oil change uh, spark plug you know basically you know the whole tune up um, that's so that's basically what we're working on 
Um, so you will see the progress as we go. Okay, everybody, we got the transmission in. Basically, we um, we have everything pretty much tidied down already. Uh, all the bolts and everything all tight. Still got to uh, get the drive shaft put back in, but for the most part, my flashlight's acting up. Everything looks a lot better we sprayed the block off with some brake cleaner to clean it up a little bit um, I'm gonna clean up a little bit more once I get everything completely back I still gotta put the radiator back in and put the lines um, we got this side CV axle back in everything is pretty much ready to go back together gotta do this side still but that's how far we are and what we've probably we've probably worked on this probably for about 15 hours straight I'd say with with uh, days in between you know about five hours a day I'd say uh, today it was kind of tough you know because we had to uh, work on trying to figure out how we were going to get the transmission angled up in there um, so we decided to bolt the uh, torque converter up to the flywheel ahead of time and then we just went ahead and uh, put the transmission shaft over that and got it all lined up that way so it worked out for us and pretty much you know little stuff here and there left to do um, get the drive shaft back in and CV axle and um, get these hoses and stuff get antifreeze in just got a fresh oil change and spark plugs they're ready to go, so hopefully by Friday this thing will be up and running. So I'm going to make some little bit more progress tonight, call it a day, and uh, see what happens, you know, the rest of the week, what we can do. Okay, guys, everything is back together. We've got the CRV completely back together. Intake box is in. Radiator is in, fluids all good to go, everything underneath all tight, everything's good. We're ready to go, so we will see how everything works when we give her a start here in a second. All right, guys, everybody, it is time to start the CRV make sure everything's good obviously I know everything's good because I'm at the store right now with the CRV everything's great with this thing shifts perfect shifts so smoothly like butter I love it CRV is actually a really great vehicle I just got to get the back brakes finished up they're a little squishy that's my only issue but other than that she's good do a little highway pull for you Shifting great, running smooth, no issues, no leaks from the trans, no oil leaks, nothing. 
soaring down the road. Hell yes. Till next time, stay fresh to death.